All right, welcome to Help Desk with Joe, and I have with me, as always, Joe McDonald, the owner of A&M Digital Technologies, uh, with Cena McDonald, his wife, behind the scenes doing all the producing, uh, along with her helpers. And um, this week, as usual, we're always talking about something that uh, is helping people either save money, be more secure, protect themselves, involving technology. Right. Of course, as the umbrella for all that. And uh, this week, your topic of secure wireless. Right. This, I'm sure, is a big topic. We've had to learn a lot. Uh, you've helped us out a lot with our stuff. So for the average person, that's who we're going to talk to today that's learning about wireless. Let's start off with whether you have wireless or not, how you would know. Okay. Well, the first thing to check and see <clears throat> is check your box that you received from your internet service provider. Right. Because a lot of them come with built-in wireless. Okay. So if you're able to pick it up on your laptop or desktop, then that's the first base to know if you, one, have wireless, and two, if you, if not, you need to get a device. Right, and that's with a cable provider or something along those lines, phone, uh, the phone companies, they all will provide some sort of internet service if you have it. Right. Okay, and then uh, if you don't have wireless and you want it, what's a couple basic steps you need to do to get it? Well, a misconception a lot of people is when they hear wireless, they think you have to get the wireless card from the phone company, and that right. is completely wrong. You okay. have to actually just need a wireless router. Right. And all that is is it's just a box that you plug in one end of the cable into the internet box and then the other end into the router and that rebroadcasts the signal throughout your house. And that gives you wireless in your home or your business or whatever. Right. Now uh, knowing that A&M Digital Technology sells all this stuff, right. what, what do you sell mostly to people that are looking to get wireless for their home? Well, we sell, sell them just the basic model which is just for your basic home and small business use. And then if you have issues with signal not making it all the way through the house, there are right. add-ons that you can get. And then we also go back and make sure that the wireless is secure so not to so anybody set it can up. Yep. get in it. And that's a big question. I, I know we've talked about that a little bit. Uh, tell me about if someone, what are the dangers of broadcasting your wireless? Let's assume you you know, I call you up, Joe, I want the wireless router, you give me the wireless router, I plug it in. Why, why shouldn't I just go to town and have, my, have wireless in my home for me and then for anybody else in the neighborhood? Well, you just pretty much said it. One, you're giving free internet to everybody else in the neighborhood, so why should you pay $30, 40 $50 a month and then the guy down the street is not paying a nickel? Right. But uh, and is there any other safety concerns, I'm sure, that start oh, to pop up? Extremely. Uh, just for security of your own network. You know, if I have access to your network via wireless, I can sit in your driveway, I can watch what you're posting on Facebook, I can browse the internet and do whatever I need to do. And what a lot of people get in trouble with is somebody pulls up, uses their internet, does the illegal activity, and, and then the police are coming and say, Dave, let me see your computer. Yep. And then it creates a whole mess. So to protect yourself, uh, you don't want to broadcast that out and just let anybody use it. Right. So that makes the, that's where the trouble comes in. Right. Okay, um, so let's assume someone goes, they call you up, Joe, I have internet service, I want to go ahead and make it wireless so we can all in our household get on the wireless network or our small business. Um, how do they make it safe? What's the first step to making it safe? Well, in your small business, or your home and small business use routers, most of them come with a CD and the CDs have come much easier to understand now. You pop it in your computer, you fire it up, and it goes, okay, here's this box, fill this box in, what would you want your password to be? I mean, it pretty much walks you through the entire yeah, thing. Yeah, it has a pretty easy <coughs> setup. Okay. Right. And I know you have some tips to go through once you get to that point. Right. Uh, let's start in on that then. Tell me what the first main tip is. Okay. Change the name of the wireless. Okay. So, like, it links to sells a box. Most of the time, the default internet is links is right so change that okay and don't put your name in like dave's house <laughs> dave's house and then everybody if anybody in the neighborhood's trying to figure out where the wireless comes from hey i know it's coming from dave's house right so you're just putting a pinpoint on yourself okay so change it to something else any suggestions that you throw out there to people anything just off the wall it could be all numbers it could be lit mix so just something generic that doesn't link to you at all right okay uh tip number two let's talk a little bit you you're going to rename your net uh, wireless network mm -hmm. to a generic name right uh, and then assume it has a password right yeah chain and set up an encryption password on that that is one of the most important things okay. now there's different types of encryption there is uh, WEP or WEP encryption that was hacked a few years ago any good hacker now with about five minutes can get into your network so don't use that okay and then there's one called WPS which was a wireless push solution where 
it was a wireless security where you had to actually physically push the button on a router, which was secure for a while, but that's been hacked too, so just turn that off and don't even give you that option. Okay. So the actually two wireless security protocols that you actually want to use is WPA or WPA2. WPA2, if your devices will support it, and if not, WPA will work just fine. Okay, so go in, find the encryption and the password part of it, and choose that option, WPA and WPA2. Right. And then set your password in that. Right. Uh, any tips on setting your password? Make it strong. Don't okay. put... And I'm sure most of them have the meter there that tell you if right. it's red, yellow, green. Right. Don't use password. Don't use one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I mean, that's... Shoot. I'm going to have to go home and change mine. <laughs> no, hey, I, let I me understand. change it for you, Dave. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah. And that, that realistically, that is the problem. If someone just wanted to mess with you, they could come in and, oh, and change yeah. all your stuff. And then you won't have internet and they'll have it. Exactly. So... All right, make a strong password, not related to you. And I know there's passwords, one on one, two, three, four, whatever the numbers in a row, pets, you know, anything like that. Pick something off the wall. Right. Make it strong. I make mine strong. I make it password one. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so always those options. Right. Be smart about it. Okay, talk a little bit about broadcasting uh, and how once you set it like that, people, and I know there's a way when you broadcast, you can even hide your broadcast, Right. right? Yeah, that's just a setting in the router. It'll say, do you want to broadcast your SSID? And okay. your SSID is your wireless name. So do you want to make it easy for people to say, hey, here's Dave's Internet? Right. Or do you want to say, well, okay, do you want to get on my network? First, you got to figure out the name. Then once you find out the name, now you have to put it in the password. Okay, so, and I know that was an option we talked about. You can have it to where, as you said, someone pulls up in your driveway, whips their phone out or their little laptop or tablet. They can just search, and it'll show all the ones that are broadcasting. Right. Uh, I guess in sight, right? And you can do the SSID selection and hide it, so right. to speak. So that makes it a little harder. An extra step to make it harder. Uh, talk a little bit about the network name. Uh, is that the same thing as yeah? That's the, where you don't use Linksys? your okay. All right, and then the encryption. So we've covered all the tips then. Right. What else do you need to do to be safe? So someone walks off the street. I'm sure you'll cover those four tips with them. Pad uh, password, the broadcasting part, the encryption, the network. Anything we left out? I don't believe so. Now, I got to tell this one. We was actually in a place in Parkersburg, and it was a small business, and we was just there. I was just browsing around, got my phone out. They had wireless, was not secure, had all the default passwords, changed the password, not only create a password for your wireless, but change the password on those routers. Right. Because if not, it takes about 30 seconds to get in there. Yeah, you can pull up and take care of it. Somebody that's savvy, it'll probably take less than 30 seconds. Uh, okay, so... If the person walks, you know, assume I'm walking in off street, Joe, I'd like to know how to set up wireless. You know, how long would it take you if, you know, you provide them with the box, walk it through it? Typically, how long does it take you to set that up? Typically, with training the person and giving them all the information, you're talking maybe an hour. So about an most. hour and take care of it all for somebody. Okay, right. so how do these people get a hold of you? You can give us a call at our offices at 304-927-3588 or visit our website at amdigitaltechnologies.com. All right. And I'm a fan of yours on Facebook. Yeah, you're, you're you have the daily the specials that pop up that have all these cool stuff that pops up that I just, I can't afford, but I wish I could. But <laughs> if you're in the market and you like uh, cruising technology, become a friend on Facebook and watch those daily specials. And on all of these uh, videos and stuff being turned into podcasts, they all pop up as well. Right. And you can go back through it. I, I assume we're over 20 episodes at least. Yeah, I think this might be 20 or 21. 21, yeah. So I know we're getting up there. So a lot of episodes, a lot of tech help that you've been giving out to save people money, help them protect themselves uh, involving technology. So it's awesome. Um, anything else we need to talk about? Well, as, as you're talking about the videos, check them out on YouTube.com for all the patch yep. shows. Our YouTube.com slash RCPatch21. All of our help desk episodes are YouTube.com slash AM Digital Tech. Yep. Plus, go on iTunes and just look for Patch 21, Taifu, or Help Desk with Joe, and or Five Minutes Outside with Kale, yep. or yep. Five Minutes yeah. Outside with JD. So you can get the podcast there. now and listen to them while you drive and everything else. Right. So very popular feature. So great stuff. All right, this show brought to you by A&M Digital Technologies, of course, with Joe McDonald, owner of A&M Digital Technologies, his wife, Cena, behind the scenes doing all the producing work. And uh, keep in mind, when you go to shop, make sure you shop locally. These folks are uh, support our basketball league, support our summer programs, here supporting our shows and making all this happen. So shop locally. Anything technology-related, look these folks up. And, uh, and as usual, you know, you get that help, uh, the personal help. 
here locally for Roan County. So helping us keep it local, doing a great job. So Joe, thanks for uh, another great week of technology help for the folks out there. Oh, you're very welcome. All right, we'll see you next week with a new topic. And if you have a question or topic, email it to them, Facebook message them. Uh, get that topic in there, and if you choose their topic, they get something free. Wins the free stuff. You can't beat that. That's awesome. All right, well, we'll be back next week with some more uh, Help Desk with Joe. Thank you.